morning guys all right uh, it's gonna be another hot day today uh, but we have Graham here say hi and uh, Okay, so today I'm going to finish the caliper, uh, put some brake fluid in, and uh, start closing the... <sighs> okay, I'm going to show you how I adjust the axle, the rear wheel. I have done it many times successfully, so... I use the caliper okay to make sure that bolt is exactly the same with the other one and I give a little tension at a time so I can get the right pressure on the, on the action and you don't go on one way you just go from here and you go to the other side Here it's not that easy, but I can go like that. Okay, let me adjust this again. Right there. Okay. That's one sixteen. Oh, we're almost there. Okay, that's right there. Half inch with about, you know some decent pressure here. I think they say 5-10 pounds. It doesn't matter if you if you can push it with two fingers half inch then it has to be nice and firm and that's it. So let's check this again. I'm gonna adjust the caliber again one more time. Alright Go to the other side. <coughs> I might have to lose this a little bit. No, it's exactly there. Okay, it's exactly there. So Let me put that, that nut there and uh, let me double check that. Okay. Alright there. Make sure that it won't rotate after you do your final uh, measurement with a caliper. Alright, let me do the other side.
Okay. Now we can do the action. Right, so we're going to tie the, the rear axle. If you're wondering what this is, this is a Nico press. It's a Nico press, it's for aircraft type cable. Right here, check it out. They also use it for uh, sailboats. For a uh, very sensitive. Uh, to felt cables, all right. Now I'm gonna reuse the same safety, uh, whatever you wanna call it, pin because it's been there for years, and I'm sure this is now a regular uh, safety thing. It's it, it's easy to bend. I mean, this is the original. This is 28 years old, okay, and I'm sure it's a different grade. What I say, different grade is. Usually they use grades that, example, grade 5, you can actually bend it many times and it will not break. So that makes it very difficult to fail, okay? Cheap stuff, if you bend them a couple of times, they will break. That's why aircraft bolts, they are so expensive. Because they've also been tested. You know, you can get like a, let's say an AN4 for, uh, you know, uh, AN4 bolt for, uh, uh, I don't know, like a dollar or something. Can't remember the price right now. Because I'm getting a lot large quantities I used to get. And uh, the regular bolt on the market is like five cents, or even, you know, maybe eight or something. I don't know. But you see the difference, right? So, okay, we're good enough. I think it's gonna go in right there. Okay, and uh, we're going to torque this to 60, okay, uh, real well for the fat boy, uh, do not exceed 65 pounds, it says here you tie it to 60, let me see. Just insert uh, 60, 60 foot pounds, and if you have to tie it a little more to get this in, then don't exceed 65. All right, so I have set up this to 60. The torque wrench, and uh, You see, I have already tensioned the belt before I do that. You don't want to do it the other way around. Okay, we get it there. No, I don't have to hold the other one. Let me see. I will give it five seconds for the material to, <coughs> to get the elasticity needs. Okay, another five seconds. All right. We got it. Uh, let's see if we are in the hole. At 60. Okay. Let's set her up to 65. 
No, se te sokone pohon. All right. Okay. 60. And I'm gonna line up this. Okay. I'm gonna bend a little bit this side. But down there. Okay, we're good. All right, it doesn't go nowhere. Okay. Keep it pressed down. All right. And I can feel a little bit pressure. Hold it. Now oh, there you go. Now oh, that oil from here. Okay. I feel more pressure. I can feel pressure now. Let's see. Oh, the new uh, bleeder here is uh, quite powerful. I gotta go slow. And you can see it. But unfortunately, I don't have three hands. There you go. That's good enough. All right, it's full pressure. A little bit more. I'm like, uh, what is it? Just like an inch and a half from top. I'm gonna fill it up a little, all the way to the top. DOT 5.1, don't put four here, you're gonna have problems. All right, let's wait now. Okay, one more time, and probably the last time. Okay. Okay, we're good. All right. And uh, I have a black cover here, but I don't know what that is. So I'm gonna put the uh, I'm gonna put the chrome piece for now. All right. Yes, we'll have a real break. Good. One more check. Okay. I don't see any leak. Everything looks good. I lost one of these. I have to order it. I don't know where I put it. But uh, I put the front one here because I'm going to put the muffler on, so it's not going to be easy to replace that little thing here. That's a dust cover, they call it. All right, we got uh, we got the rear brake, <laughs> and uh, yeah, we get in there slowly.
I have uh, installed new muffler gaskets. If you go some videos back when I did the heads, you can see how I did it. And uh, there's a certain way you do them. It's not uh, it's not difficult, but it's not that simple as it some people think. And uh, you should watch a couple of videos before you. It only goes one way, really. It's impossible to put it on. If you do, you will know. It's not going to be easy here. I have to make a special extension with a quarter of an inch to fit in there before I put the covers on. But I can put the stud back temporarily. To pull things in place. That's it. Yes, I have removed the stud before with the nut on many times when I you know took out the uh, the to clean the mufflers or do some work there all right let's go back and take a look <laughs> what do you guys think no they're not new pipes these are my pythons over 25 years on the bike I just uh, redo them again. New chrome. Did the buffers look inside? The name, it, it, it's like you're putting new mufflers, right? Really. But I like the, the sound. I got used to them and I don't want to change them. Ah, the seal start looking good. Ah, yeah. I put Lactite here, blue, and I'm going to tie them uh, just a little bit. Then I'm going to tie the ones on the on the heads first, so this can move whatever it wants to move. Then I'm going to tension these ones. So, I have made this uh, quarter of an inch extension so I can reach this one over there. No, it's not easy. Ok, 
Okay, I'm not going to touch it too much. This, you know, this touch, I don't think I need to. But, I can touch on this now. Okay. All right. Okay. This is the front. Okay, a little bit from here and but from here and again a little bit this side I can feel it is pressing the uh, the metal uh, gasket that I have put when I did the heads so it's kind of like a, you know difficult to know where to stop the tension. Okay, right there. All right. And uh, let me close this light because it's really hot today. And that creates heat. Okay. put a little bit of gasoline here it comes down here and uh, just a little bit crank the throttle uh, just to do a test alright wish me luck See, it takes to one more check. I put the spark plugs, I haven't tied them completely, but uh, it should do okay. All right, little bit talk right there, three quarters. I haven't started since Christmas. Okay, it's kind of like uh, noon, so I don't want to make noise. Uh, oh, this is good news. Looks like I did something right. Okay, it's very exciting. Haven't finished up, uh, but uh, it's like uh, getting there. All right, all right. Good news, good news. Very excited. So it's like 5 o'clock, so I can start it. Then I'm warm up a little bit. That's good enough, a couple of minutes.
чувак. Looking good. Looking good. I just have to fix this because the stoplight is it's on. I know I have to redo this again. Hey baby, what do you think? What do you think? We did it? We're gonna put it together next week? Take it for a ride? You think so? Yes sir. Say hi to the world. Yes. Good boy. He's with me all the time. Only when his mom is here is not with me. You're gonna get burned. You see here? Oh yeah. I gotta put the covers now before I burn my leg again on this muffler. Ah yes sir. Yes sir. Very exciting. All right. We're gonna take it uh, next week for a test ride. Now. I gotta finish up, it still has a lot of work, but uh, you know, we're on a final approach. Alright.